What is going on guys, it's Wolf here, welcome back to some more Blightfall. Now last time we left off, we went and found ourselves a great wood tree and we planted a sapling back there and as you can see, we have our own great wood tree growing back there so now we can like, I don't know, get a bunch of great wood, wood out of it. <laughs> Anyways, we need some of that great wood to upgrade our wand. Our current wand can only hold like 25 like stuff at a time. And that, uh, that's pretty that's pretty much nothing. <laughs> that's pretty much a big boatload of nothing. So I think the next wand we can make can hold up to like like 50 or something. And I think that has the gold caps. There's right there. There's the inert silver caps. I don't think we could use these just yet. I, I could try. But uh can't really Guaranteed, yeah, so nothing's, nothing's coming up there, so that's unfortunate. So I suppose now that we have the Great Wood, we can actually use this Great Wood Rod thing to actually try and make this gold-banded Great Wood Wand that can hold 50 of each, like, Essentia thing. Anyways, there we go, we have ourselves a brand new wand. And I wonder if we can, like, fill up this wand using this this other wand. I don't, I don't know if that's, like, a thing. Maybe I can throw it on the ground and, uh, maybe, maybe the other way around. Uh... Yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> All right, maybe there's some other way to transfer like this or whatever it's called. But uh, for now, I guess I'll just put this up here. There we go. And I can go suck a bunch of this out of these trees and I'll be good to go. All right, so since this is a brand spanking new wand, I'm going to need to get some essence and there we go. Fill this bad boy up. Don't want to waste too much time filling this thing up with essence and whatnot. But I did a little bit of work off camera because like last episode, we we're trying to like hook up our alchemical furnace and alembics to all of these void jars or whatever uh warded jars <laughs> i think the void jar is like what is the void jar uh, is it like a better version of the the warded jar maybe it has more room or something i don't know let's check real quick uh void jar too much essentia impossible click to purchase the research uh, obsidian warded jar and blaze powder huh all right well let's read about it real quick void jars function much the same as normal warded jars but with one important difference even when full they are still able to accept essentia but this excess essentia is simply lost this allows you to always have some essentia of that type available but get rid of any excess that may build up hmm uh, I, I i could see where that could come in handy here in the future uh, like normal jars void jars can accept labels but their function or uh, their suction with a label is less than of a normal label jar about halfway between unlabeled and labeled jar i don't know what that means either way let me just show you what i did since last time so i, I made these these valve things these essentia tubes with valves and basically if i have something over here like I don't know, like Sano. I just recently filled up a, a pretty good amount of these things with Sano with those milk bottles instead of the milk buckets like uh, like here. It's way cheaper to do it like that than, you know, throwing away milk buckets and whatnot. And I don't think I, yeah, I never scanned a milk bottle. I don't think I have any, uh, yeah, I used up all my milk bottles. Uh, oh, wait, no, no, I still have 16 of them right here. All right, well, maybe we should scan these, see exactly how much Sano I got. Oh, God, the hungry chest ate it. <laughs> Don't look, stop eating that hungry chest, jeez. Uh, throw one on the ground, scan it real quick. Uh, oh, wow, that gives me way more than just Sano, jeez. That gives us that Victus stuff, some of that angry, slobbery face stuff. <laughs> some of the glass stuff and some of the water stuff. Okay, that's, huh, I was wondering, yeah, because whenever I filled this up, it gave me all that extra stuff, and it took like a million years to fill up all these jars. Anyways, I guess we can throw that up inside here, because I don't want to have to deal with... <laughs> Getting all the essence and stuff out of all these Alembics and into all these jars over here. But basically, if I have, like, water here, then I go over here to the one that has water inside of it. 58. And I learned that these uh, water jars can hold up to 64 of each, uh, like, aspect. So, 58. This one's really close to being full. But if I had some water here, all I have to do is hit that lever or the, the valve. Open up the valve. And then it'll start emptying from there into the, uh, the water jar of aqua. And, yeah. I already have some. Oh, whoa. It's like leaking out now. Uh, 50. Okay, it still has 58. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I already have some of these jars that are completely filled up. Like right now, we have Sano that's completely filled up with. We have Arbor, which is that tree stuff. We have Fames, which I think is that evil, sloppery face. That one right there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, still a lot of room over here to fill up any, uh, any full jars of Essentia that we may have. But I want to do some more stuff like uh like make that crystallizer thing so there it is right there essential crystallization so let's see what do we mean need to do oh yeah I, th I think i said i wanted to do this one off camera but uh you know what I, I was i was busy with this whole valve thing over here i was busy with all this half-life 3 stuff over here half-life 3 confirmed valve is on page three whoa <laughs> actually isn't that on i got a comment saying that valve was, it was on page three i guess it one two three four i guess it's technically on page four maybe 
they talk about it on Patreon? I don't know. <laughs> but Half-Life 3 looks like it's confirmed. Either way, <laughs> let's try to make this Essentia thing. So we have the alchemical construct, and we need to make some more of these Essentia valves. And now that we have the great wood planks and all that stuff, we can make this alchemical construct. So let's see, what all do I have over here? Okay, I have one filter thing. Yeah, I don't want that. That's trash. Uh, what were we doing? Oh yeah, I think we need gold. I think we need iron. I think we need glass. And quick, yeah, quicksilver drops. And that will get us the uh the tubings and stuff so there's that there's that and then the glass in the middle there we go oh not not enough of this okay well what about my gold one uh gold one has enough ordo but not enough water hmm see this is where this is where having like sucking the essence out of one into the other would have come in handy oh you dumb zombie you get out of here you trash get out of here you dumb trash there we go Whew. anyways i think i can turn this uh clear arrow yeah there you go turn that off all right so as you can see my wand is pretty much full on everything except for that black thing right there i think it's like perdicio or something i don't know potentia I don't know. Either way, it's, it's pretty much full with everything. It has air, it has terra, ignis, water, or, or aqua, I guess, to be more specific. And we can put that up there and get ourselves some ascension tubes. And then all we have to do is combine those with a lever to get ourselves the ascension tubes with the uh, the valve. So we have to go downstairs, craft some more levers. I already crafted, like, a bunch of levers and stuff, but it seems like I ran out of them. So anyways, let's get ourselves some stickeroos. Uh, I guess I don't have any. Uh, I guess we can make some planks. Do we have any planks? Yeah, we have a little bit of planks. There we go. Probably from broken boats or something. <laughs> Either way, there we go. And get some cobbledy cobble. Just any type of cobble will work. And there we go. We have 12 levers. Easy peasy, no problem. All right, so I don't know how many we're going to need. Uh, I do know that we're going to need some great wood logs. And I don't know where any great wood logs are. Like, probably in my... ME terminal, but I'm just going to grab some from our great wood tree, and hopefully that thing drops some saplings in the future. I hope it I hope it doesn't just go completely bare and extinctify itself. Either way, we're going to need great wood in the very, very middle, and that's going to get us a button, but we don't want that. We want something. Oh yeah, we want to turn these uh, these tubes into valved ones. It's real quick. There you go. Get a couple of, I don't know how many we're going to need, so I'm just going to get four. So we have four essential tubes, four valved tubes, and we can check real quick exactly what all we're going to need, so looks like we're going to need four regular essential tubes, one great wood plank, two vis filters, I think we have two vis filters, right? Uh, we might have used them, hmm, how do you make those again? I think it's like gold and, and silver wood planks or something, I don't know uh, there's that, doesn't require any magic and stuff, but let's go check uh, is, there, is there, yep, gold ingots there let's get ourselves some vis filters, I think like, yep, there you go, perfect and I think we're just going to need one I don't completely remember there we go great wood log in the middle and get our uh what's that there's right there essential tubes there you go and then the essential valves on the corners and there we go our chemical construct perfect all right so we have the thing the main thing we're going to need in the middle now we're going to need a dispenser two iron ingots two balanced shards and uh, i guess you just get any type of shard with some ignis well pretty much any of the regular essential things <laughs> air and ignis ordo aqua and uh, perdicio i guess that's what it's called and terra and that's going to get you the uh, the balanced shard and i think we already have some balanced shards i'm going to have to go check our me terminal oh yeah i wanted to make that wireless me terminal thing that i have from like end of earth and uh, jurassic world I, I would definitely want to make oh wait there's one there's one balanced shard right there but unfortunately, we don't have any more, so I guess we just get any type of shard and just kind of combine it inside of the alchemy thing, <laughs> and we'll be good to go. Well, that's good that we already have one balanced shard already out of the way, and I guess it's going to be kind of tough to make that, uh, that balanced shard thing, you know? Without wasting a bunch of materials, that is, because it requires Perdicio, Earth, Ignis, and uh, Aqua, and Air, two of each. So, if anything, uh... I don't know, coal and and leaves. Leaves are like one terra each, I think. Or no, no, they're one herba each. Huh, yeah, that's going to be kind of tricky to find what's going to get us what. I'm pretty, maybe flint and steel is going to get us, uh, I don't know if that's going to get us ignis or, I don't know. <laughs> Either way, I guess, I guess we can't make this thing just yet. I, mean, I guess we could, but like it's, it's going to take a little while to kind of craft it, you know? But, hmm, I don't know if there's anything currently in our inventory that, uh, okay, the sand gives us a little bit of terra and Perdicio, I think that is, so that's really good. I just have to go dig, like, one more thing of sand. Uh, I don't know what else is going to get us some of these necessary materiales. But, uh, I guess I'll have to do a little bit of research and find out. 
Huh, put these inert silver caps up. Shimmer leaf. Did we never scan shimmer, shimmer leaves? I guess not. Huh, let's throw that on the ground. Scan that. Oh, look at that. Hey, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Go on, hungry chest. Why didn't you eat my thumb and omicon? <laughs> all right, gunpowder. Yeah, okay, that gives us Ignis and Perdicio. Oh, that's perfect. Gun. Oh, I only have one gunpowder, though. Huh. So Ignis and Perdicio. And then uh, Sand is going to get us Terra. We just need to get a little bit of Terra. What's going to get us water? Oh, yeah. The milk bottles give us water. But, uh, hmm, I think I already, I think I have some glass still in the furnace, so, uh, a little redstone furnace, so let's go grab that. Fill it up with some water, that's going to get us some water, so, oh, there it is right there. Make some bottles out of this, uh, like so, and I don't want to craft them all like that, so let's just grab, uh, ah, that should be good enough. Alright, and then, uh, just kind of grab these. Uh, water bottle. Oh wait, no, never mind. My inventory is completely and utterly full. <laughs> let's grab all the. Let's put all this extra trash up here, gold ingots and stuff. Quicksilver drops, levers, uh, gunpowder. I, I definitely want to keep that. At least for now. Iron capped wooden one. I guess I can put that one up. Great wood planks. Blobbity bloobity. And yeah, my inventory is pretty much <laughs> completely full right now. <laughs> all right. Well, let's see. How much does uh, one of these water bottles give you? Let's check. Uh, one water and one light glass thing. Not bad, huh? Okay, that's that's good. So cobblestone is still okay. Looks like cobblestone gives you that stuff too. So we just use like I guess just any type of cobblestone, and that'll work as well as water. Now we just have to find out what's going to get us this this uh like is it this is it leaves that's going to get us no? What's going to get us air? Chests maybe no. Hmm, that's that's a good question. What is going to oh sugar canes? Sugar canes gets water and air. Ooh, do we have everything now? So we have basalt cobblestone. So that's that's going to get us a uh, water, a uh, terra, and that ordo stuff, or not ordo, potential or whatever. I don't know. I don't know these things. This one's going to get us. Oh, this is great. I guess we could try it out, huh? So let's let's check our uh, thomonomicon real quick, and make sure. I think there's like six main elements maybe that we have to do. So yeah, oh wait, no, there's five. So it's Terra, Perdicio, Ordo, Air, Aqua. I think we've got it, you guys. Okay, we just have to fill up the uh, the thing with some water. And I don't think we have a bucket. <laughs> of course we don't. Uh, well, let's get some of that seed soup and I guess eat a little bit out of that. There you go. Om nom on that deliciousness. And grab our lunchbox of roux. Eat a little bit of you. Oh, whoa, that's full of trash. Why am I eating trash? Oh, this is full of trash too. What's in here? Oh man, everything's pretty low. Ugh. God, I thought my backpack was filled up with some very nutritious foods, but I guess not. <laughs> all right, let's uh, throw all this trash up inside the thing over there. Yeah, there you go. Garbage. Oh wait, I need that sugar cane. Oof. All right, lunchbox, fill that up. Uh, all right, not bad. Okay, what was I going to do? I completely forgot. <laughs> we need to get ourselves a bucket of water. Uh, let's go down to our empty terminal real quick. Grab ourselves a bucket of water. If we don't have a bucket of roux. Yep, we already have a bucket. All right, fantastic. And we just have to fill it up with some water. Like so. We have like two infinite water pools within like 10 blocks of each other. We have one like right there. And then we have another one right there. <laughs> I don't know why we have them so close to each other. But I guess I'm just super lazy. Anyways, let's put that up in there. And we have that one regular shard, right? Uh... Wait, wait, where'd it go? Oh, here it is right here. Oof. All right, so let's see. We're going to need uh, basalt cobblestone gets you, I don't know, uh, terra and that stuff. We're going to need two of that. Then we could put sugar canes in there. And then we could put, what was it, gunpowder? Gunpowder's good. Oh, yeah. Uh, gunpowder. There's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, perfect, perfect. Okay, let's just scatter a bunch of this trash in there. There you go. There's a little bit of that. There's a little bit of Terra. And, uh, there you go. Alright, and then we just throw a shard in there, I guess. See what happens? Did that work? Is that- is this working? Uh, do we not have enough? There's Aqua and stuff. God, let's go grab another shard real quick before that thing, like, overflows. Oh, this is not good. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh man, this is not good. Should get a, you grab a shard. There we go. Grab, grab, grab a couple of them. Grab a couple air shards. Let's go back to the cauldron real quick before that thing like overflows with taint stuff. Because I know it does that. I know it does that. So let's do that. That didn't work. Why is this not working? Oh, does it need that ordo stuff? No. Wait a second. Am I missing something here? Am I completely? 
Oh, I am missing Ordo. What? Okay, so we have Terra, we have that potential, we have air, we have fire. Oh, and the, and the fire and all that stuff is starting to go away. This is not good. Okay. Oh, the, oh, yep, there you go. Now, now it's just, <laughs> now it's overflowing with trash. So now we have to get rid of all that. God, uh, I don't have enough of that. Now we have taint stuff just flowing all over the place. This is not good. Uh, well, there you go. All right. Well, I kind of messed up right there. I thought we had everything. I thought we did. We have, hold on, we have Ordo. We don't have Ordo. We have Aqua. There's air. There's two. And then we have Terra and that Potentia. There's three and four. And then we had... Huh, I guess we didn't have Ordo. Huh, I guess I was mistaken. Hmm, I was really sure we had Ordo, but I guess not. So what gets us this Ordo stuff? I just saw Ordo inside there. I don't know where it is now. God, ah, well, let me try and figure this out on my own. And I'll see you guys here in a bit. Jeez. All right, guys, so I had to literally sleep on it. <laughs> I just woke up and uh, I found out that silver wood logs, I almost just called them silver bell logs, but uh, silver wood logs give you the, uh, where's my bucket? Oh, there it is right there. Give you the Ordo stuff. So there you go right there. And uh, I also found out chiseled stone bricks give you that stuff too, but I don't know like how to get that. I guess I have to make this chisel thing, but I couldn't figure out how to make it. So I don't know. <laughs> so it looks like it's going to be chiseled silver wood or uh, not chiseled silver wood. I guess it's going to be silver wood logs for our Ordo. So there we go. Let's put that there and we can put the bucket back up in there. And then uh, gunpowder. I just got some gunpowder from the ME terminal and we can just throw that inside here like so. That's going to get us four and four. We can put a little bit of this stuff inside there. Three, four. Uh, I think it's two and two. Okay, so let's get two crafts, shall we? There we go, and just throw some shards in there, shall we? That's going to get us bounced shards. Is that going to work? Did that work? No. There's Ignis. There's that. There's that. There's that. Why is that not working? What? Uh, I'm not getting any bounced shards. What the? Hold the phone. Is it like decaying too fast? I don't think it is. What? Let's get some more shards. Okay, let's get a whole tire stack of air shards. <laughs> that way we don't run out of this stuff. Get a little bit more sugar cane just in case we run out of the, the water or the air. And let's check. Because I... Oh, there's a little bit of taint bubble right there. It's probably going to overflow here in a second. I feel like it is. Uh, I can't tell. There's so much stuff. Ignis is pretty high. Water's pretty high. Uh, the only thing that isn't there is... Oh, we should... Yeah, we should just throw any shard in there and that gives us the no okay nothing really just a big but what in the world thought i'm gone are you lying to me air shard fire shard ignis ordo does it have to be exact does it have to be two 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 and you can't have any over overflow or like what it seems like we should i'm like the terra is low right now we should be able to uh, what terra Wait, did I not have Terra? Because I should have Terra. There we go. If I don't have Terra, I have Terra now. <gasps> oh! Bounce shard! Was Terra the thing I was missing there? What in the world? <laughs> it seems like I'm missing things left and right. Jeez. Anyways, let's, let's prevent that thing from overflowing. There's a taint bubble right there. You can go up in the atmosphere all you want. I don't care. <laughs> Either way, we have our second bounce shard thing now. So now we can do... Uh, what was the recipe? I don't, I don't remember. I know this thing was in the middle. I don't know where that was. But uh, let's check our that's the blight. Oh wait a second. I think the blightfall book, the quest book, actually has some stuff for us. Let's go to uh, Paranormalist, I think. Let's see, we might have them. Yeah, here's right here around the ship. Our chemical furnace and arcane alembic. So uh, manual saw, I guess I have to actually hold these things. Okay. Let's we'll grab these. That's completely empty. This is completely empty. And we should be able to submit those. Or uh do I have to actually submit them or can I just uh I don't know if I want to submit them or not, because Oh! Did he take him? God, he took him. Ah, <sighs> ah. <sighs> well, let's see. That's going to get us a little bit of mission outlook. But uh, next up, we have to make the. Uh, oh, we have to make the alchemical construct. We have to make two of those. Are you kidding me? I have to make even more of those Olympics and stuff. God. Ah. <sighs> well, I guess I'm glad I don't need it right now. Jeez. Ah. <sighs> well, either way, <laughs> we're going to need a little bit of any type of plank, I guess. So let's wrap some of these silverwood planks. Put these here. Put these planks there. Uh, what else are we going to need? Let's check. We're going to need a dispenser and two iron at the top corners. So, uh, no, no iron there. Huh, that's kind of 
impressive. Either way, let's go grab a little bit of dispensers and stuff. Let's actually see how we make those furnaces and stuff. Uh, arcane f or, or uh, alchemical furnace, uh, arcane stone blocks, and furnace and crucible. Uh, that's not bad, actually. Now that I think about it, we just just have to get a little bit of iron and grab one of these furnaces and get a arcane thing. And I, I'm pretty sure we have a lot of arcane stone. Yeah, here's a lot of arcane stone right here. And how do you make an alembic again? Just so we can actually make a usable one. I think there's something there on the bottom left of my screen trying to kill me. But it, yeah, it requires the vis filters and stuff. Oh yeah, that's cheap too. Huh. Alright, well, let's just grab a pretty good amount of iron. There you go. Uh, I'll just grab half a stack of that. And there's something down here, right? There's definitely... I saw something. Oh, a crepper. Oh, got him. <laughs> Alright. Oh, man. Oh, I could have just looked at the minimap and saw that there was a creeper there, but I guess I was too lazy and too spooked. Alright, well, there you go. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, we need to grab enough iron to make ourselves a... What was it? Oh, yeah. This thing. And then right-click it with a wand, and that's going to get us a uh, crucible. There you go. Alright. And then we just have to combine that in... Oh, yeah, we have to go all the way to the arcane crafting table, I guess. Because it requires a little bit of magic to actually make this thing. Just a just a sprinkle of magic. Let's just put all this trash up in my inventory. And put that there. Put the arcane stone block there. Put all this garbage up there. And just kind of do that. There you go. And throw that on the ground. Put a furnace there. And our wand. And there's our chemical furnace. Back in action, Hater. <laughs> Alright, let's put that back. There we go. And we're going to need to make some more Alembics. Which I guess while we're at it. We might as well make our fifth Alembic. So what is it we need? We need those Vis filters. Which I think was like that with a little bit of gold on each side. And uh, I think, yeah, we're completely out of gold. Whoops. Uh, do we have a crafting table over here? Because I need to make... I guess I might as well make a crafting table. Uh, can I do that in my inventory? I have a little bit of planks, don't I? I have planks here. Uh, yeah, I do. Whew. That's perfect. We have enough. All right, let's make ourselves a crafting table. And then a crafting it. Station. There we go. My achievements are, of course, messed up. Why wouldn't they be, right? Uh, let's get ourselves a gold nugget, like so, or uh, ingot. God, oh yeah, we need two gold ingot ingots, right? We need two of one. God. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess we're going to grab a little bit more gold. Hashtag grabbing more gold. Uh, well, I could have grabbed. Oh, we have two crafting tables, like right next to each other. Are you kidding me? Uh, gold. There we go. Man, I'm, I'm glad that we're starting to actually accumulate a lot of. Let's grab ourselves more of those gold nuggets. I'm kind of glad that we're starting to accumulate a pretty good amount of resources to where if we need something, we just have to go to our ME terminal and just type it in and we're good to go, right? Feels pretty good. I go and joke. Anyways, two Vis filters ready to go. Uh, I don't know where that goes, but uh, I do know that we need a bucket and we need a little, bu little bit of iron like this, I think, and then gold at the top. And then I guess we can just make another bucket because we already have like a bunch of gold already, so uh, this should make our Alembic, right? Uh... We're, uh, oh, there it is right there, Arcane Olympic. All right. And we're going to need a little bit more gold and another bucket, and we'll be good to go. <laughs> All right, well, let's just throw that trash on the ground, make ourselves another bucket of rue. And we're going to need two of them, actually. Because we're actually going to need, oh my god, that, ch oh yeah, the chest ate that thing. I completely forgot it does that, jeez. Ah, well, there you go, insufficient vis, not enough water. Are you kidding me? Ah, well, let's uh, put this Olympic back, there you go. Fill this wand up. Man, we have a lot of stuff to do. It seems like just a couple episodes ago, I was, I was just like running dry on things to do. I was just like, I don't know what to do. And then I took like a week off. And now we have so many things to do. I'm just like going all over the place. Just like, oh, I need to go do this. I need to go fill up my wand. I need to go get some more of that. <laughs> it, it actually feels good that we have a lot of stuff to do now. You know, I, I, I really, I said this last episode, but I, I really felt intimidated by the whole Thomcraft thing, but you know, now that I actually started, it's it's pretty cool, I'm not gonna joke. Alright, I think this one had all the, uh, like, three or so, no, no, that wasn't it. Which one of these had all the, uh, it had, like, water inside of it, and air, and maybe Ignis, too? I don't know. Maybe it was that one over there. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go to the Orono that's all the way over there, that's pure water, and fill up our thing, because, oof, you best believe we're gonna need a lot of water inside this wand. I'll see you guys here in a bit. Alright, back to the crafting table we go, and there is our fifth and final Alembic that we're gonna need. You know what? Let's just, yeah, let's just break these, and then just kinda stack them on top of each other as we go up. There you go, so we have three of them. I should have fourth one. Oh, is that it? Oh, there you go. There's our fourth one. And we're gonna have one, two, three, four, and five. Do I have any more of these tubes? I guess I don't have any tubes on me right now. 
guess we might have to craft those, or maybe they're in the chest? Uh, that's a filtered one. Yeah, I don't know where it is. <laughs> Alright, where, what are we doing next? Oh yeah, we want to actually make this thing now. But we actually need some Ascension dudes. What happened to them? I thought we had a cell. Wait, we have essential value. Yeah, we turn these extra ones into value. God, whoops. Ah, well, what do we need to make the uh, the tubes then? God. <laughs> uh, Quicksilver drops, glass, and iron. I think we might have put some of that trash up inside of the other chest. Whoopsie daisy. Ah, well, let's put this up there. And I guess I'll go grab some of the other materials that we may need. And I'll see you guys here in a bit. God, I am just all over the place lately. I don't know what's going on. All right, there we go. We have some more essential tubes. Perfect. And let's just put all this extra trash up in there. And we'll be good to go. Wait a second. That's a oh, yeah, it's a filtered one. Whew. I thought for a second I didn't even need to grab that. Anyways, now we can look at our Thaumonomicon and finally make this final craft that we're going to need. And I think we might need a little bit of wood, but uh, yep, there you go, silver wood logs. That should give us enough planks. So there you go. Put the planks there at the very bottom. Our wand is pretty much filled up with everything right now. Uh, 50, 40, 40, 50, 50, 45. Not bad at all. Uh, we're going to need, yep, these two bounced shards. We're going to need, uh, I don't think we're going to need any of this filters as far as I know. These bounced shards go there, this thing goes there. Uh, we're going to need a dispenser, I remember. Yep, dispenser, forgot to make that. <laughs> we have a lot of bows back at the, at the, at the ME terminal that I need to use anyway, so might as well make my a millionth trip back to the ME terminal this episode and make ourselves a dispenser. Uh, I, I forget. Do, yeah, I think you make it. You can make a dispenser out of cobblestone, right? Uh, I don't remember either way. Bows there. And I can combine those in my inventory, right? And those work just yeah, There you go. Perfect. There you go. I thought you had to use an anvil. I guess you could use an anvil. Just be a little bit too expensive. A little bit of an overkill, right? So let's put these in my inventory like so. And get ourselves a full craft one just so we can make ourselves a dispenser. And I suppose we just do this, right? And I, it might need redstone. Right, I think it does. God, <sighs> I haven't made a dispenser in forever. Uh, dispenser Rooney, it needs, uh, yep, one thing of redstone at the very bottom. <laughs> <sighs> God, how embarrassing. There you go, Dispenser Rooney, perfect. Okay, well, now we have our final piece to the puzzle, as far as I know. God, <sighs> now I do know that we can hook our uh, hung uh, a, a hungry chest. How do we make one of those again? I know we can hook up. A hungry chest to this uh this crystallizer thing because I think this crystallizer just kind of shoots items out of it as they finish. So yeah, trapdoor with a little bit of stuff. Do we have a trapdoor up here? God, of course we don't. <laughs> okay, well let's let's just make this thing already. Oh wait, whoa, are we missing something here? Or I guess silverwood planks don't work. Really? So it does it have to be a special type of plank or because uh, it was cycling through all the all the different planks I could use, but I didn't think it had to be a uh, colored oak wood. Does it have to be co colored? Spruce. Oh, no, no, no. Great wood silver. Yeah, there's silver wood plant. Oh, wait. The Essentia tube in the middle. Oh, that's what I was missing. <laughs> there you go. Essentia crystallizer. And I was planning to put them, like, right here. That way, it's really easy for it to, uh, you know, get any Essentia from all these jars uh, as it needs them. So, see, I don't know how to use this thing. I, I really don't. <laughs> so, I guess, where's the Sano one? I know the Sano. There it is right there. No, that's... Victus, here's Sano. So if I do that, oh, it's working. It's crystallizing some Sano. And then we need to make a hungry chest. So the hungry chest will. Oh, get out of here, zombie. Oh, there we go. Oh, man, I just knocked the brain. Literally knocked the brains out of that zombie. <laughs> okay, let's get a trapdoor. There we go. Well, I guess we don't have a trapdoor. Uh, planks. How many planks do we have? Uh, we have enough to make ourselves. Oh, wait, great with planks. Eh. You know what, we have a lot of great wood, might as well. There you go, two planks, don't mind if I do. And uh, now we can make ourselves some, uh, what do we have? Uh, wood. What kind of wood do we have? Uh, great wood logs, that's where our great wood I went, I guess. Uh, I don't know if we can make it out of silver wood. I don't know if I want to try, but, uh, or uh, blood wood, I, I mean. So I guess we'll just get some of the silver wood logs, since we have so much of it anyways, right? I might as well cut down those, those silver wood trees that don't have aura nodes inside of them, just so I can get some silver wood logs from them, you know? Anyways, uh, we're going to need our trapdoor there. It killed a zombie! Oh, there you go. <laughs> and, uh, plankify some of those lungs. And surround this thing like a crucible. Or a, uh, <laughs> or a cauldron. God, now I got them mixed up. Ah, okay. Well, let's throw that trash on the ground. I can't pick it up. And look at that, we have some crystallized something. So, I wonder, is it going to be able to cr catch it? So, let, let's see. I don't know what the progress is on that. Is it going to catch that? 
So let's see the crystal. Oh, I think it worked. Okay, you know what? Uh, just to make just to make sure that it does eat it. Let's face the the hungry chest the other way. That way, it's like I guess the ma if the mouth, if you will, <laughs> will be facing the actual uh, crystallizer thing. So whenever a crystal shoot, oh, I didn't catch it that time. God, do I have to put a one more block closer? Really? Okay, let's put that here. So whenever it's done, it'll go right into the hungry chest, and I don't have to worry because. I don't know, maybe you could hook this thing up with some tubes and hook it directly into there, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Either way, I suppose here in the future I could make some more of these crystallizer things, but for right now, I guess we're just going to get one crystal at a time and just kind of let uh, time do its thing. Anyways, I guess I'm just going to wait for the next crystal to finish and hopefully it's going to appear up there inside of that hungry chest. Either way, I think that's going to be a good episode for right now, because we got a lot of good stuff done. We finally made that crystallizer thing, so now we can put a specific amount of different uh, Essentia things inside the cauldron, and we're going to be that much closer. I'm really feeling it. Next episode, we're... Oh, did it go inside the chest? Uh, let's check the hungry chest. It went... Oh, it got it! Oh, perfect! Oh, that is so good. It feels great. Anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below, and if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe right button now put my latest videos on a youtube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss this episode and speaking of the next episode i am really sure next episode we're finally going to be able to make our very own ethereal blooms out of shimmer leaves because we finally have these these crystallized essence things which that's right if we uh let's put that back inside there if we get our uh our thermometer thing and grab a uh let's put some other trash in there there we go jeez <laughs> if we grab this and our thermometer, throw it on the ground, there's one Sano thing, and if we scan it, that's right, one Sano, it's just pure, basically just pure Sano, so we can throw that inside the cauldron, along with all the other trash we're going to need, and then throw the sore wood in there, or the shimmer leaf, yeah, that's what it's called, <laughs> throw the shimmer leaf in there, and then we'll finally be able to make millions upon billions of ethereal blooms and we're going to be that much closer to making some of those uh the blight buster like dawn of or was it called totem of dawn or something i think and that thing is able to i think it's able to clear out an entire chunk or something like that i don't know either way very excited for the episodes to come so thank you guys all very much for watching and i will see you guys here next time with some more blightfall oh bye there oh.